So iOS 18 public beta one and developer beta three. I want to talk about this update because I'm sure many of you guys are going to want to update with Apple, including some of the new Apple intelligent features and perhaps even releasing the first public beta alongside developer beta three. I'm sure most of you guys are going to want to update your devices. And there's a few things I wanted to talk about in regards to the software when it comes to bugs and things you should probably know before you decide to actually install this on your devices. So the first thing I want to talk about is some of the bugs and issues that I've come across after using iOS 18 betas for several weeks now. The first thing I want to talk about in this one is for older devices. So iPhone 10s, 10s Max, iPhone 10R, if you have one of these devices, even iPhone 11. I want to talk about the performance on iOS 18. Obviously, this is beta software, so it's not going to be perfect performance overall. The first thing I want to talk about is control center. There's a slight delay and choppiness within control center when you go to scroll and add and remove elements from control center even if you go into edit mode and try to add a control there's some delays choppiness things are just not running smooth as you would expect now this is just some minor performance issues with control center and scrolling overall throughout the os on older devices i've noticed this again on iphone 10r iphone 10s 10s max and even the iphone 11. now aside from that there's also a few issues across the board with third-party applications and this is to be expected obviously this is iOS 18 betas and developers do not have their apps updated completely to support the latest OS so third-party applications may not work so perhaps a social media application may not work for you if you decide to update or any other application that you may have on your device may not work when you update to iOS 18 beta developer or public beta. Now something a little more serious and more important that I wanted to emphasize is banking and payment applications. So financial applications, a lot of these are not fully compatible with iOS 18 just yet. So keep in mind your banking applications, your payment services may not work correctly if you update to iOS 18 public beta or developer beta. I've noticed several apps on my financials folder not working as intended or at all after updating to iOS 18 beta. So just keep those things in mind before you decide to install iOS 18 developer beta 3 or the first public beta because I know the first public beta will bring a lot of new beta testers to iOS 18 and there's also the battery life. Keep in mind that battery life is just not going to be the best. It's not the worst battery life for beta software but it's not going to last you all day. I've struggled getting through my entire day on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and this is my primary device. This is the iPhone that I use every single day and I have to say that right now I just can't get through my entire day with the battery life that's offered by iOS 18. So just keep in mind that I constantly have to charge my device throughout the day in order to get through my entire day with iOS 18. And last but not least, overheating has been an issue on iPhone 15 Pro Max. I've encountered heating issues three times now when charging my device and even when just using my iPhone as a GPS in my vehicle, I've noticed that a heat warning pops up on the screen. And this is something that I'm not sure why it's happening. It shouldn't be happening on a beta, but I have encountered some heating issues, especially when charging on the latest iOS 18. So just keep in mind that if you plan to update to iOS 18 at any moment, rather is a developer beta or the public beta, keep in mind that, that these issues are present, battery life isn't the best, third-party application and financial applications may not work for you, and you may encounter some overheating and obviously some lag within the software. Now, when would Apple release iOS 18 and developer beta 3 and public beta 1? Well, if history is any indication, we are right around the corner. Today is Monday, July the 8th, and it could happen as early as today. By the time you watch this video, the software updates may be available so I wanted to make this video for you guys before Apple releases this update so that you know some of the current issues happening with iOS 18 and the beta software so that you know where you're getting yourself into and you know some of the things that are still happening in terms of bugs, issues, and performance. And there you guys have it, just a quick update right before you update to iOS 18 developer beta 3 and or public beta. 
let me know if you're updating in those comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.